Today, I'm going to tell you a story. This story regards me, communities, and many women like me. The story starts almost one year ago, when I was exactly on this same stage to present my first blockchain-based project. During this year, I have understood two very important things. The first one is that blockchain is changing the world. What is blockchain? Think of the human body. Blockchain is like the nervous system, a decentralized network with a very high performance level, hosting a lot of information and with a very great memory capacity. Blockchain is not only Bitcoin. Blockchain is not only cryptocurrencies. Blockchain is really much more than this. Imagine you are a scientist and you want to share some information about a new theory, a new medical device, or just about some initial intuitive concepts with other scientists in the world, but protecting the property of your ideas. You can do this with the blockchain. Or imagine to be a patient who wants to share some medical information about a personal pathology or disease with some doctors in the world protecting your own privacy. You can do this with the blockchain. Or imagine to be a university, wanting to certify, release the diplomas and degrees, and make it possible to its students to share it with professional, chosen professionals around the world. With the blockchain, this is possible. But especially, imagine to be a citizen of one of the developing countries where electoral results and outcomes are always disputed. We can apply the blockchain technology to the electoral system through the digital citizen identification in the sign of transparency and for the sanity of societies. So I can say that for the first time in history, some chains will give us freedom, those of the blockchain blocks. The second thing I've learned during this year is that power is not more in the end of the political class, not more in the end of the banks. Today, community is power. Always humans have formed communities in order to feel a part of something. And today, those take action alone limit the actions they can take. Community means many things, ranging from a very small group of people living in proximity in the same area, to a very large group of people geographically dispersed that share a common interest. Community is active involvement, participation, shared knowledge. Community is a living organism. Communities have a power because consulting with experts and professionals gives you always better information. Be surrounded by others working toward a similar goal gives you motivation, support, and that kind of friendly competition that makes you push your limits. All of these makes emerge new ideas, thanks to divergent views, different approaches, helping to face the same problem, but in a totally different way. When you are part of a community, you know that every day there's a new opportunity to be had. And this means three things. Be inspired, sharing lessons, and have fun too. So why? working alone, wasting resources, when we can amplify them. I strongly believe that 
this amplification effect is really is clearly enhanced when the network is joined by women. And this is the reason why to found a female community that, for me, finally, is more than a community. It's a virtual place where strong women inspire other strong women. But the secret of each movement is always the same. Do things not for money, really, for values. I believe in the power of the blockchain technology as a great instrument for a transparent, for a fairer and efficient world. You can found a community or choose to be part of one of them to trigger that domino effect of a human collaboration worldwide, a real global action overcoming national boundaries and time zones. As citizens, community power puts all of us at the center of our future. It involves us directly in decisions through real actions. And above all, community power gives us the opportunity to switch to a new kind of lifestyle. This means change the way things are and also embrace a very larger purpose in life. Behind the blockchain, there are always groups of users and people believing in a world without fraud, without corruption, living in the, in the sign of the faith and transparency. And this is why I can conclude saying that in the future that is waiting for us, blockchain can't exist without communities, and communities can't exist without blockchain. Thank you.